Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone! Look there! <sighs> Flower blooming out of Retta? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dennis' energy. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The Flower of Oblivion. With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it lay dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here, floating around? For how long? <sighs> I don't believe this. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Law, calm down! You're not the only one who's worried here. Right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Ah! Now what? The starship, it... it's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those Red Women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us.
still can't get over what we saw happening outside the starship. Yeah, our planet's really not doing too hot right about now. I've only ever seen Rena from the surface of Dana, so I figured it was just another round planet like ours. Still though, I never would have imagined Rena actually looked like that. And what's the deal with that giant flower coming out of it? Beats me. I have absolutely no clue. It's so surreal, it looks like a broken egg or something. Rena and Dana. We were taught that both worlds were spherical bodies that floated amongst the stars in the heavens. But to think that they lied to us not only about the Sovereign and the Crown Contest, but also the form of our own planet. Dohalim. Okay, who's the wise guy that summoned us here? Someone formidable enough to bring our starship along with us. They must be here somewhere. Let's find them. This place looks a lot like that room we saw back in the Forbidden Zone. Huh? What's that? Ah, it's one of those! A red woman in disguise. Or is this their true form? So it was a trap? It doesn't look like it can move. Tell me, are you the one who brought us here? That is correct. It is unusual for me to have unexpected guests these days. It can talk! What are you? Hevrecht 35. Hevrecht 35? Is that your name? Correct. What is this place? No, wait, before that, just what exactly are you? Are you somehow associated with the Red Women? Before I answer, I have a question for you. How did you all arrive in this sector? We did not come to this place by choice. Our ship was brought here against our will, by a group of red women who can shift into the same form as you. In that case, we can assume my brethren who serve the Great Spirit have deemed you all to be a threat most grave. What do you mean, serve? Are you saying there really is someone more powerful than the red women, pulling their strings? What did you do to us? I examined your bodies. You have not been harmed in any way. Identifiers detected. The Sovereign and Maiden are among you. However, you aren't under its control. I see why they viewed you as a danger now. <laughs> 